You know, it always amazes me every time that someone has a newborn baby that I get to see another creation of God, a handiwork of God. And it's always a joy of me. You know, our church is full of kids, and full of babies, and, and just love sitting over there playing with them, seeing their smiles, seeing their laughter. But every time I do that, I just think of what an incredible creation that God just created. A new creation, a new life here in this world today. It's an amazing thing. When me and Shannon first got married, I, um, I was not only at a church working, but I was also uh, building homes uh, with a contract company. And we would go in and, and there'd be a slab and sometimes not a slab. And then we would do the framework and we'd put on the roof. We would begin to do it. And, and it was always an exciting time when when that framework would go up and you begin to see walls erected and, and the roof goes on and it begins to be covered and and then the, the old outside walls would, would be put on, the windows, the doors, and always amazed me every time when we would finish a whole house that we'd walk away and something that was nothing was there now. A beautiful creation and stuff. Well, God talks about so many times that when we become part of Christ, that we become a new creation. It tells us in Corinthians that, that anyone's in Christ, he's a new creation. What does that truly mean? I really, you know, it's hard to understand, it's hard to see. You know, we, we think we know that, that you know, it's, it's someone being alive again, it's someone, you know, that just accepted Jesus, it's all about that. I believe it's when we truly realize what it means to follow Christ, what it truly means to go after God, what it truly means to pursue Him as He pursues us, what it truly means. That's what we begin to understand what a new creation is. I know there's joy in salvation. I know there's joy in so many things. But can you imagine serving a God that's a statue? Can you imagine serving something that gives me a list of rules and we have to check off to become something? No, Christ didn't give us all of that. He said, follow Him. He said to love Him. And if we do those things, we become a new creation. That's what regeneration means. That's what it means to, to be born again like Christ tells Nicodemus. And that's what you will learn today. You'll learn about being a new creation in Christ. Not a creation of your own hands and of your own heart and your own desires, but a new creation in Christ. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa.